All right, welcome to this edition of the EV Revolution Show, a special edition where I was invited by GM to come down to downtown Toronto for uh, learning more about a new experience that they've launched in North America several months ago called EV Live. And I'm here with um, Omira Jan Mohammed. You're the manager of EV Readiness for Canada. How yes, are you? Great, how are you? Thanks Good. for having and me. And thank you for inviting me. Appreciate okay. coming out. Um, so I'm excited about what you guys are doing. You know, I, I think most people understand that the, the, the biggest barrier to EV adoption right now is education, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that you guys put this program together. You're the only OEM that I'm aware of that, that's put something like this together. And it's the industry first uh, EV education tool. So maybe you can talk a little bit about it. First of all, I understand it was launched in January of 22, but what really is it? What is it? Yeah, so thank you for the introduction. Um, we do believe that EV education is critical. General Motors' goal is to make EV adoption widespread and we want to help accelerate everyone on that journey. Mm -hmm. So we have launched this new tool called EV Live. It's an innovative industry first, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. And what it can do is anyone with a device, so an iPad, phone, laptop, can log in virtually to evlive.gm.ca and connect with a live EV specialist. Cool. And anyone can ask their questions on EV ownership, on home charging, public charging, any questions they have about EVs to help them see how an EV can be incorporated into their lifestyle. So your audience is basically anybody. It's not necessarily just consumers. It can be maybe organizations that might be looking at fleets or other areas, correct? 100%, that's a great point. The objective of EV Live is to target everybody and anybody who's curious who have questions about EVs. Mm -hmm. um, now why has, has GM decided to build this tool and, and go through all this effort? It's a great question. Again, General Motors, our mission is to put everyone in an EV. Um, there's a lot of data, a recent KPMG survey that stated Canadians have a lot of questions and there are numerous barriers to having them transition to an EV. So our solution is EV Live to help break down those barriers, answer those questions, make consumers comfortable and confident in transitioning from an ICE, an internal combustion engine vehicle, to an electric vehicle. So we do really see this as an educational tool for all. Again, you mentioned customers, but also our dealers, staff, employees, fleet. It's open to everybody and anybody who wants to join and learn more. Absolutely, and I think that that's a great idea. So uh, you mentioned that it's an online tool, uh, and I'm going to, of course, interject some footage and, and stuff, information as we're talking, but how does it work in, in a quick summary? Yeah, very easy. Again, you can log on with any device, laptop, um, phone, iPad. As long as you have an internet connection, mm -hmm. you can log on. You can log on immediately. You'll be connected to a live advisor. Or if it's not convenient, you can pre-book a date and time for later, nice. or you could even join a group session. Oh, but the okay. one thing I would love to mention is that while the person calling in can see the EV Live Advisor, you can see inside the studio, they can't see you. So it is a very comfortable experience and you can keep anonymity as you wish. Yeah, excellent. So you can learn about EVs in your pajamas and bunny slippers. It's great and they exactly. can't see you. Uh, so you talked about accessing it. Um, and I think it's, it's a great tool. Again, I'm going to have some materials in here so people can see what it looks like. I know that you, you, you have different segments to the EV Live experience from learning about the Altium platform to learning just about EVs in general to some of the products, correct? Correct, exactly. There's eight different zones. Um, however, our top three zones where we get most of our questions, home charging, public charging, and our Altium propulsion system, which is mm -hmm. EV batteries. Absolutely. And uh, where do you see this going for the future? Is there some sort of roadmap or idea or expansion for this idea? Where, where do you see it might go? Yeah, we do have a roadmap for the future. Mm -hmm. We do see it expanding, especially here in Canada for our fleet and commercial customers. But as I mentioned, this is very much focused as an EV educational tool, again, to accelerate EV adoption for everyone. And I'll put it on the screen, but how can folks find the site? Uh, GM, evlive.gm.ca. We're open seven days a week, mm -hmm. 9 to 9 Eastern Time, Monday to Friday, and Saturday and Sunday, 11 to 7. And is there a link for a U.S. equivalent site? There is. That's mm -hmm. evlive.gm.com. Dot com. And right. I will mention it's both in English and French. <laughs> I think I've asked all the questions. Anything you want to say on closing? No, thank you for having me. Um, again, our goal is EV education. 
We want to make EV adoption widespread to all Canadians out there, and we really believe that evlive.gm.ca is a tool that can help accomplish that. Yeah, I totally agree. You know, when I got the invite to come down here and learn about it, again, I'm just so impressed by what GM is doing to to move the the yardsticks forward on EV adoption. You know, I, I covered the first responders training a, a month, a couple months ago. Again, nobody else is doing that trying to get first responders to understand the, the particular details about EVs. Um, so here you are looking at consumer education, looking at fleet education, looking at commercial education and awareness. I think that's great and I applaud you guys for doing that and I look forward to uh, seeing some of the results. I know that you've said, uh, you told me earlier that you had, uh, of the calls, you know, 22% of Canadians were interested in calling that, which is which is quite a high number because we're pretty reserved people, right? Yeah, exactly. We're pretty shy. <laughs> exactly. And you, to that yeah. point, you know, Canada typically makes a 10% runner versus the U.S. and we are seeing over 22% calls coming in from Canada. So Canadians have questions and we want to help answer yeah. those questions. And your average call is almost 12 minutes. That's a, that's a good amount of talking. It's, it is. That's it is. Good. All right. Well, yeah. thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. This has been great. Thank you. You too. Anytime. Right. Thank you.